Hey guys, Morten Ostad here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. Uh, this is sort of a follow-up unboxing, I suppose, uh, to the one I did a couple of days ago. It was an Amazon order where I ordered five CDs and three arrived and these two arrived separately. So let's see what we got here. Hmm. Yes. Friday night, Skagen, a lot of indoors today, very rainy, so uh, yeah, let's open some CDs. So the first one is, well, is it the first, no, it's uh, not the first uh, Rolling Stones of the year, it's, uh, is it my second or third? But it's the first with the first new release. Um, this is where I wish uh, they would have shipped it in something a little sturdier, because this looks a little bit squashed. But this, anyway, this is live at the Wiltern. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's a German Amazon. Uh, the Rolling Stones Concert in Team Los Angeles. 2002 RTL that's a German television channel uh, yeah so this is um, made in Germany this is uh, a live show that um, as f I haven't really d d dived that deep into what this was but as far as I can cons uh, can, can remember having read uh, this live show um, was a, more of an intimate venue and they played, um, let's say, some deep cuts, some tracks they uh, not usually uh, play um, because, I mean, a Rolling Stone set list these past 30 odd years is not very varied. Um, Anyway, uh, no, yeah, it look, looks pretty okay, I suppose. Um, so, uh, this is the Blu-ray, and I mostly buy these live things on uh, CD and Blu-ray. But this time I thought, no, I'm going to buy um, CD and DVD. Uh, first of all, um, because my um, I'm here in Denmark, and I wanted to watch it right away. And uh, unfortunately, here in Denmark, I the only Blu-ray drive I have is on my PlayStation, and that's broken. And my PlayStation down here works as, uh, well, let's call it a, a streaming hub. But um, when I was going to order it, uh, it said that um, for some reason it was a third-party seller and not Amazon on the DVD version. And... Um, Apparently, it was supposed to take like uh, two to three weeks. So, no, I, I bought the Blu ray version anyway. So, I won't be able to watch this uh, for about a month or so. But there you go. This is really nice. Look at this, guys. Wow. This, wow, I'm really, I'm kind of surprised. This is really, really nice looking. Yeah, Charlie, Mick, Ron. And Keith. So, let's see what we have inside here. So, the Blu ray. Funny way of. Funny look of the tongue logo there. Coming at you. And then we have. Careful, I don't rip this apart. That's, that's one thing about these. I call them diggy packs, maybe. No, these aren't diggy packs, are they? It's easy to tear when you're trying to get the CDs uh, out. So there's CD1. CD2. Let's see. So there was a booklet in here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, 
Of course, I'd really like to have this on uh, vinyl. I have several of these uh, on vinyl, but they're uh, they're not inexpensive. I think in Norwegian and in Danish kroner, it's like f probably four hundred and fifty Danish kroner. In Norwegian, uh, which is what I'm unfortunately still being uh, paid in. I think it's like 750 now. Norwegian kroner is just not good. Theater of Dreams, when the Rolling Stones rock the Wilton. And this is written by a Bill Paul Sexton, sorry. It's Charlie. see what songs we have here also like this sort of um 1920s style in this i think well um jumping jack flash live with me neighbors uh, hand of fate no expectations beast of burden Stray Cat Blues, Dance Part 1, Everybody Needs Somebody to Love, uh, with uh, Solomon Burke. Uh, that's How Strong My Love Is, oh that's nice. Going to a Go-Go, uh, and Band in Introductions, uh, Through and Through, You Don't Have to Mean It, Can't You Hear Me Knocking, Rock Me Baby, uh, bitch, Honky Tonk Women, Start Me Up, Brown Sugar and Tumbling Dice. That's a nice set list. So let's have a look at the second CD I got today. And this is Elbow's brand new album. And some of you guys over there in America might be thinking, huh? Ooh. Elbow is um, very big in the UK. Uh, kind of like an institution by these days and uh, uh, they formed as Elbow uh, in 1997 and um, I think um, they uh, released yeah they released their first album in 2001 I, I didn't have a clue about any of that um, I walked into a record store uh, and I used to go whenever they would showcase these uh, you know, these um, deluxe editions that were kind of shaped like this and they had these plastic sleeves around them. I think it's it was Universal who um, who did that, that type. Uh, after a while, they did away with the plastic sleeve and just put... It had a gray area down here where it said uh, deluxe edition and they just replaced that with like a sticker. Um, and I just saw this record and I thought, uh, wow, a super deluxe edition from someone I've never heard of at all. And then I, I kind of liked the name and I took a chance and I had no idea who they were. And uh, I, uh, when I heard his voice, and I also, I think I asked uh, the, the, the guy or whoever it was in the record store if they knew anything about them and... and uh, one guy behind there said, oh yeah, they're kind of like uh, doves, which I, I don't, in hindsight, I don't really would agree that much with, but the doves, I love the love doves and uh, the band. And um, so I, I grabbed it and I, I really, really liked them. And now I have all their albums uh, on CD, which is why I got this on CD and not one, but it was really tempting and you know who knows if I come into any extra money <laughs> yeah that'll happen um, but uh, yeah there, there's a couple of vinyl versions out there that look really nice of some really pretty vinyl so anyways uh, brand new album by Elbow um, uh, Audio Vertigo really digging this art 
amazing. So there's the CD. And also like this. There are the song titles. If you don't know Elbow, I urge you to check them out. They're fantastic. Um, I suppose the, the, the singer, uh, Guy, uh, Guy Garvey, he's sort of he's the main man. Or, or, I don't know the role of the other uh, band members. Band, band members. But uh, they've been fairly consistent. I only think they they've um, they've replaced uh, and fairly recently. I think uh, one uh, the drummer. Apart from that, I think they it, they've been fairly consistent. So you got some really nice artwork in here. Not listened to anything from this new album yet. I don't. I usually don't um, stream. Or, or listen to the first single of any bands or anything. I, I, I'm, I want to hear the band's new album in full, in physical format, and then later on I'll stream it on my headphones when I'm traveling or whatever. But yeah, it, it's it's an ex. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's it's a rule I have. It's an expensive one, but uh, uh, I think people out there in the vinyl community and record collectors will probably not be too surprised to hear something like that. So yeah, this way is towards the camera. <laughs> Christ. Anyway, guys, um, that was my new uh, two new CDs that I got today. Um, hope you enjoyed watching me. Uh, look through them and talk a little bit about elbow i might uh, leave a link to my um, uh, playlist for uh, elbow uh, in the description anyway guys um did i mention they were from greater man the greater manchester area by the way elbow uh Bury, i think uh so um maybe i'll do a shout out to uh, someone from manchester rob Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and hope to see you soon in another video.